Kwa pamoja it's a community led initiative located in Gazi Bay and we are deeply rooted in conserving and protecting mangrove through the sale of high quality carbon credits. As the project coordinator of Mikoko Pamoja, I'm truly passionate about bringing a positive, a positive change to my community through the preservation of vital ecosystem. Um, Mikoko Pamoja serves two local villages, that is Gazi and Makogeni village, with around 5,500 residents living within uh, the Gazi Bay community. And we are registered as a user group under Gugoni Gazi Community Forest Association that co-manages uh, to work together to conserve this vital ecosystem. Uh, since entering into a management agreement with Kenya Forest Service in 2012, we have been able to reduce an emission of over 150,000 tons of carbon equivalent, and we have been able to generate an income of over 200,000 US dollars. Um, uh, in 2017, we won a prestigious Equita Prize by UNDP for Nature-Based Solution, uh, which led to us to replicate the project to South Coast uh, near the border of Tanzania called Bangabulu Forest. And currently, we have replicated another project in Lamu, which is going to be the bigger project uh, in terms of carbon offsetting. Nevertheless, in 2020, we won the UN Person of the Year Award due to uh, our unwavering commitment for community development and mangrove conservation. Uh, through the funds generated through the sale of the carbon credits, the community, they are now enjoying uh, the importance of the carbon credits and we have been able to support several activities in our area, like the issue of uh, education, whereby we have been able to donate books, renovation of classrooms so that uh, the students they can have open space for learning and also to uh, the books because some of the parents are not able to buy the textbooks which could improve the uh, learning of the, of the students in our area. Nevertheless, we have been able to support health in our area, supporting sport, sports as well as health. Um, and uh, this income coming through the sale of the carbon credits is not being uh, managed or uh, decided by the, by the project managers, but it's being uh, um, uh, circulated to the community and the community that are the ones who decide on how the money should be spent. So we usually organize for community gatherings whereby the community that are the ones who decide like uh, they say for this year we have generated 25,000 US dollars so that the community they decide how they want the money should be spent. So in this carbon market uh, process we have been actively um, working with Kenya Forest Service Kenya Marine Fisher Research Institute, as well as Association of Coastal and Ecosystem Services, a charity in, coast in Scotland that help us in market of the carbon credits. So we have a benefit sharing structure in our system, whereby the ACES, a Scottish charity, they usually retain 6% for validation and verification. Uh, there's 36% which is meant for restoration, 32% is meant for community development projects, uh, we have 21% uh, is, is community wages and 5% which is meant for office expenses. Touching on the impa impacts uh, of the carbon credits, our impacts goes hand in hand with sustainable development goals like SDG number, number one, poverty eradication, uh, SDG number 13, climate action, as well as support the quality education. So we have been able to generate uh, jobs in our area, like I, I was directly employed by the project, and we have been able to employ two forest scouts that help us, uh, helping us in uh, surveillance of the mangrove ecosystem. Uh, so we'll urge uh, the government of Kenya to support us, the entire community of Gaza Bay, in the issue of capacity building, as well as increasing our operational area. So whenever we have our operational area, job, uh, employment will increase in our area, and we will also have I will also ask the government of Kenya to support us in training more the community members in the issue of surveillance because whenever we have more scouts in within our community, we shall be able to protect positively our mangrove ecosystem so the future generations they could come and get the benefits through the Mikoko Pamoja. I love the government to um, to see the importance of conservation, particularly at Mikoko Pamoja, whereby we are being regarded as the first carbon project in the world. So we love the support 
in terms of operational uh, of, uh, of, uh, operational area increasing your in terms of operational area within our area so that we can generate a lot of carbon credits as we are operating 117 hectares and in gas we have a total of 615 hectares of mangroves so whenever we shall be increased or being given a bigger area to operate we shall be able to generate a lot of income which could support several livelihoods within our community and for my youth for my colleagues youth i'll urge you if you have an opportunity, most of the academians, if you have an opportunity, you can visit Gazi or visit our website online so that you can learn how conservation is helping, goes hand in hand with the issue of income. Because uh, the issue of climate change is now becoming critical and uh, there's a lot of opportunity when we fight the issue of climate change. You can earn a lot of income with this, fighting the issue of climate change. So we'll urge them, my fellow youth, to do a lot of consolidation, do benchmarking at Mikoko Pamoja so that you could understand how conservation is critical for the future generation. Because I'm here, watch it to Angalima by health, health and sanitation. Tuka, tuka, tuka na dispensary yetu mdogo pali ambayo haina vifaa alikuwa hivyo. Tuka mua kwa, kwa umoja sote kuwa tuje, tu, nino, tu, tu mua vifaa vya hospitalini pali. Kwa hivyo hiyo tuka, tuka mua kujunga hiyo nino, tuka mua hizo vitu vya vifaa vya hospitali pali. Kwa hivyo saizi tuko, tuko sawa na shukuru, alhamdulillah. Na hii mikuwa kumamuja pia eme tufaidi sisi kama wanajamii. Kwa mina kitu kienda monitoring ile pesa ile kidogo ambayo tunayekwa ya kati 2% ile ile na rudi kwetu bali tunafanya monitoring lakini tunapata income tunapaa sabuni yetu tunapaa maliko yetu kidogo kwa hivyo pia ime tukambe tumeajiriwa vile vile tuko na scouts ambao tumewaajiri from the kutoka kwa, kwa hivi vijiji scout wale wamepata barua tayari tuko na scout wawili ambao tumewaajiri wana wanaangalia hizi mambo za neno za theft katika hii mikokoa kwa hivyo tuko salama kwa sasa tuko salama. Alafu pia katika ile, ile mambo ya maji ile tuliamua pia tuweke hizi vendors za maji hizi ile vi, vi nino, vile vioski vile. Ambapo pia jamii yetu ulipata ajira hapo. Ya kuwa wakisimama kwenye maji pale kwenye ile kioski ya maji wana ni ile ni ajira tayari. Wanalipwa kwa mshwa wa mwezi. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru tulipata maji, tulipata ajira, tulipata hewa kaa tukapata pia hii hii mikoko ukihifadhi samaki wanakuja kwa wingi wanakii mikoko ni mazaliwa samaki kwa hivyo pia kuna kuna faida nyingi za kutoka kwa mikoko